Welcome. This is the Algebra 1 end of course practice test. This is test number 3, question number 33. The question says, which is not an equivalent representation for the relation below? Now, it gives you an x and y uh, table, and you should remember that the x values represent your domains or your inputs or your um, independent variables, and your y's represent your ranges, outputs, or your uh, dependent variables because without the y there's no without the x there's no reference point for y so what we're going to do is just look at the different representations uh, I'm going to go ahead and put them into coordinates just because it could knock off a couple of them very quickly for us whether they match and remember the question says which is not they even underlined not so that's got to be important they tend to not uh, underline it if it's if it's unimportant that's a lot of knots anyway um, I need to make sure that the B matches up perfectly and it works just fine so B is not our answer because it does show us what we're looking for what we're gonna look for he, uh, for D is to see if the graph matches so at negative 2 it's up at 3 at negative 1 it's at 2 at 0 it's at 1 at 1 it's at 0 and at 2 it's at 1 so it's sort of almost it's basically an absolute value scenario uh, so D is not the answer. I'm going to see if C matches up. So it tells me that negative 2 goes to 3 and 2 goes to 3. Well, no, that's not true. Um, negative 1 goes to 2, so that checks out perfect. Negative 2 goes to 3, but this is 2 goes to 3. It doesn't go to 1. If the line was down here, then yeah, I'd, I'd be all, all about this answer, but it's not. So this one and eh, makes it wrong. Uh, why this one checks out fine, this one goes okay, but unfortunately unless it all works then uh, it's not a good representation. So the answer to the question is C. Just for a second I'm going to look at A. XY is such that Y is equal to the absolute value of X minus 1 for all integers negative 2 to 2. Uh, the all integers thing just means do I have all the numbers uh, that are you know integers so E on the number line essentially without being fractions or decimals between negative 2 and 2. Well all my x values between those numbers are represented so that's good and it says it sort of looks like an absolute value that uh, x minus 1 means you're shifting it to the right because remember if it's inside the absolute value um, it doesn't look like it should look. You could actually do a little table if you felt like it so I plug in negative 2 and I make an absolute value so I would get uh, negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3 so the absolute value of it should be 3 so when I plug in negative 2 it should give me 3 and it does and you would just plug in negative 1 minus 1 so this should be uh, positive 2 so when I plug in negative 1 I should get positive 2 and I do and it goes on down so A works out so it's not the answer so the answer to which one does not represent the relation it would be C